What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'll talk about skill-based matchmaking and kind of the whole issue that's going around right now. If you're a fan of Call of Duty, if you if you follow it on Reddit, Twitter, whatever the case may be, there's a lot of big YouTubers out there getting called out for, uh, you know, kind of reverse boosting, you know, getting into easy lobbies, that kind of thing. I usually don't do these type videos, but today I kind of want to talk about it because it is a very big issue within the community. I kind of want to give you my thoughts on it, that kind of thing, but uh, before I get into it, if you're not subscribed, please take a second to hit that subscribe button. If you enjoy the content, of course, always uh, would appreciate if you'd smash that like button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. And be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. As you guys know, I've talked about skill-based matchmaking until I probably could be blue in the face at times. I don't really gripe about it too much. Uh, I do mention it. I have said in the past, I, I know it's here to stay. It kind of is what it is. And I'm just going to kind of have to deal with it um, and just kind of roll with it, whatever the case may be. Uh, you're going to see a gameplay here in the background where I get 60-something kills. I'm also going to die 30-something times. It's a struggle to get a 2KD in this game, even if you have 60 kills. Uh, me and one of my buddies were playing. He always joins me. Usually all my friends join me. I do have a, uh, you know, a Netgear Nighthawk uh, pro gaming router that has the NetDuma kind of software on it. So, you know, I can somewhat filter games to kind of be closer to my area so I'll have lower pings but that really doesn't help with skill-based matchmaking the only thing that I have found to kind of somewhat help is I have crossplay turned off which does suck at times because I do play on PS4 and it takes forever to find a game from time to time and a lot of times it still throws me in sweaty lobbies this lobby actually had one or two noobish style players on it but both teams had several level hundreds I would say probably four on each team including myself and my friend and then four on the other team as well Sometimes we'll get some good lobbies. Sometimes we'll get some bad lobbies. You can back in and out of lobbies a lot. We do that a lot as well. Just trying to get into, you know, non-sweaty, non-dis pro league lobbies game after game is what it feels like. Uh, and it's it's kind of a grind to even be doing that, honestly. Sometimes you can get in and you don't get a game or two in an hour. It's kind of crazy. Well, of course, there's been a lot of people out there, you know, over the years that have, you know, accused certain YouTubers of, and I'm not going to call anybody out because I, I don't care what they do. They do what they do. They're making money here on YouTube. This is their job. They treat it as a business. I'm fine with it. I, I don't care what they do. It never has affected me. Some of them's gameplay is still fun to watch. But overall, everyone knows a lot of people are just, you know, going in, either tanking their stats so they can get into easier lobbies or having, you know, a two accounts, one that has some horrible stats. Then they join off that horrible uh, account with their uh, uh, good account. And then back the bad account out. That way they're stuck in that lobby with some absolute horrible players, kind of bottom of the tier, you know, just worst of the worst, you know, people that are kids, uh, whatever the case may be. And, you know, they, they will post some crazy gameplays in these lobbies. And, of course, we all would post crazy gameplays in these lobbies. I might not myself. I am getting a little bit older. I mean, I'm not a young guy anymore. I, I'm not that old, but I will be 37 next month. So I don't know if I could go in and destroy some of these people like some of these folks do. But at the same time, you know, I've usually always posted usually a two to two, two and a half KD in most Call of Duty games, which is not crazy. But at the same time, this year, I'm struggling to keep the 155 that I have. It's the same way in Modern Warfare. I think I ended up with the 160, 170 in Modern Warfare. I thought maybe I was just getting old. Maybe uh, my reaction wasn't the same. Maybe my, my eyesight was going bad. I don't know what the case may be. But uh, I really do think a lot of people think, you know, they're just not good at the game anymore. But it really is a lot to do with skill-based matchmaking. And while a lot of these people, like I said, are getting called out, some of them are just coming out blatantly and saying, hey, I reverse boost now that, you know, a lot of them are getting called out. That's fine with me. I've never really had an issue with it. Like I said, uh, a lot of people got upset. You know, I can understand why people get upset. I think they should have said, you know, I'm reverse boosting. I'm going into an easy lobby. And I think people still would have watched the content and enjoyed it. I don't think people would, uh, you know, felt any differently about it. I think the only thing is a lot of people feel like they're, you know, getting lied to or not, you know, the, the person they're watching is not being honest with them. And I can understand that when it comes to doing this, whether you're streaming a YouTube or whatever the case may be, I think people need to be as open as they can. And I understand doing this for a living, you know, the people that make a lot of money at it, they can't be open about everything because they're going to go against disclaimers, you know, terms of service, whatever the case may be. So they can't say some stuff as I miss just tons of people out here in front of me. That was just horrible. I mean, but, um, uh, watching this gameplay back now, is, it, it, it's crazy <laughs> in some of the shots that I just cannot hit. But, you know, as long as they kind of honest about it, I think people would have been a little more accepting of it. But a lot of these people have never really came out and said they do reverse boost or they don't reverse boost or they don't, you know, get into easy lobbies. And I can get why people get mad. And I know there's a lot of people out there that has kind of not really called them out, but talked about it over the years. One of my favorite YouTubers, if you have never checked him out, 
on on YouTube is Thunder. He is absolutely hilarious. I've loved his content forever, and you know he just kind of tells it is kind of tells it how it is as well, and that's one reason I've always liked him. But he in his videos even says, you know, he understands these people are out here trying to make money, and he gets why they're doing it. So and I, I'm kind of in the same boat. It really doesn't affect me at all. Doesn't bother me at all. People can do what they're gonna do. I'm not gonna in control of anybody else's YouTube content. If they want to, you know, reverse boost. If they want to get an easy lobbies, you know. Good for them. I, I, it doesn't really affect me at all. Have I ever done it? No. Um, I thought about it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'd like to see what some of these lobbies are like. I, I would kind of like to get back to those days where I actually could uh, drop uh, nukes and our Moabs in Modern Warfare 3. I actually had several in that game. Uh, Ghost, I had several. Now, of course, mine weren't running around like a crazy man, uh, you know, uh, cracked out as the young kids say now, you know, just beaming everybody or whatever the case may be. A lot of mine were pretty slow camping uh, uh, nukes. But, hey, a nuke's a nuke in my opinion. Um, but, you know, that's kind of how it was when I first started uh, on YouTube. Um, some of you have probably been around for a long time. Some of you may not have been around as long. I started briefly working on YouTube or doing some uploading back in Black Ops 2. And it was just kind of here and there. I really have not been working as hard as I have on YouTube uh, over the last few years. As I, You know, that's when, kind of when I started working, you know, a lot at it, I guess, what I'm trying to say. The last five or six years, I really started grinding it out, trying to, up to upload at least once a day, at least, maybe at least five times a week, whatever the case may be. But I did kind of mess around with it back in the day some. So, you know, all the way back to Black Ops 2, I was kind of just hitting at it, uh, you know, a little bit here and there. Uh, but overall, you know, then I was kind of worried, oh, if I don't have good gameplay, nobody's going to watch it. Or if I don't have um, well, these great games, people are going to get bored. If I can't, people are going to get say, you know, I'm a camper. I was kind of worried about it at the time. The longer that I have done it, no matter what game I upload, I just upload it because I want people to come in and enjoy it. If I go like this game, 60-something kills with 30-something deaths, great. If the next game I upload, I'm dead even, great. I, I've got to kind of the point where I don't care because... I just want the people to come to the channel to watch the videos, to either be informed about something that I'm talking about, or just to get away from whatever sucks in your everyday life. I, I understand. I have a family, house, bills, cars. I, mean, I, I get it. It's it, the world sucks, especially now uh, with everything going on with the the pandemic and stuff like that. So I, I've always just kind of made my channel to be something where people could just come in and enjoy it. You know. So I kind of got out of that mindset of I need this great gameplay. So I guess that's probably the reason that I never really considered, you know, going in and getting easy lobbies and uploading crazy kill games because it just wasn't my thing. But like I said, people that that is their thing, I'm perfectly fine with it. It doesn't really bother me at all. I know everybody may not agree with my thoughts on it, but, you know, that's kind of just how I feel about it. But like I said, I just want you guys to come in, watch the videos, you know, enjoy them. If you're having a crappy day at work, crappy day at school, crappy day in life, whatever the case may be, if you can come in here, laugh, learn something, enjoy it, get your mind off anything, if it's just something to... Uh, some sound in the background to get your mind off whatever's going on. That That's kind of what I do it for. So I hope you guys do enjoy, you know, kind of my idea of what I like to do here on YouTube. But overall, you know, like I said, I don't mind that, uh, you know, people reverse boost. I don't, I don't mind that, you know, that they've been doing it for years. A lot of people are just now kind of calling them out more than they have in the past. But like I said, it, as long as they're honest with their viewers, I think most viewers are going to be fine with it. Uh, you know, I don't really think it's going to affect a lot of people. But I will say some of these lobbies these days are absolutely crazy. Uh, we've always had skill-based matchmaking in COD to a point. But the last couple of years, most everyone can start to kind of tell that it has gotten worse and worse as, you know, game progresses from game to game. And uh, there's a lot of people out there that, you know, just cannot stand it and quit playing the game. And I do hate that. I, I hate that people are having to you know, just really not enjoy, you know, doing content. No matter what game it is. You know, there's a lot of games that I do videos on. I, I can take Red Dead Redemption uh, online for uh, for an instance or, you know, for an idea that there's a lot of people that are upset with that game and they've kind of gone away from doing content with it. And there's some great YouTubers out there that did uh, Red Dead content. There's some great YouTubers out there that do Call of Duty content that are just absolutely fed up with it because of the skill-based matchmaking. Uh, kind of quoting, or loosely quoting Thunder as I was talking about him a little bit ago. He said, you know, who wants to go out here and play in these pro league lobbies, game in and game out, and not get paid for it? You know, that, that is kind of how it feels. It feels like you're playing in some pro league lobbies. It feels like you're playing in a Call of Duty pro league tournament, and you're really not making any money for it. You're just getting to sweat for it. That's pretty much it. And just the stress of, you know, playing a game where everybody in the lobby is just as good as you or better every single game, which that's not bad all the time. I do like playing competition. So that's one reason I think skill-based matchmaking doesn't bother me as bad as it does some. It does frustrate me at times because 
I don't want to play for eight hours a day, uh, five hours a day, four hours a day, whatever the case may be, and cannot record anything for YouTube where I just get absolutely destroyed game after game. That does kind of get frustrating. But at the same time, I don't want to go in and just destroy everybody I play either. I want a little bit of competition. So it kind of, it's going to depend on how you feel about it. You know, do you want a little bit of competition? Do you want to really just smack everybody around game after game and just enjoy yourself? It's kind of where the community stands when it comes to skill-based matchmaking. But overall, it is a bit sweaty. It is kind of what it is now. Like I said before in several videos, I've kind of just learned to go with it. And if I get destroyed, uh, you know, and it's a video that I want to upload, I'm going to upload it. If, you know, <laughs> I don't really care <laughs> if people think it's, you know, horrible gameplay or whatever. I'm just, uh, you know, playing it and doing my videos and kind of talking about what I'm going to do for that video that day. So, you know, if it's a bad gameplay, I just kind of learned to deal with it now because that's kind of the point we're at when it comes to Call of Duty. And like I said in one video I made recently, I don't think it's going to change because uh, people are going to, you know, start quitting and start stop playing, and they may be big and massive YouTubers, whatever the case may be. But the 10, 20, 30 players they're gaining from the skill-based matchmaking lobbies, from these lobbies, you know, where these players aren't not getting just destroyed game after game. They're actually in games that are competitive. You know, they're lower tier players. They're going to keep playing. They're going to buy stuff, and I think that's what Activision's kind of looking at. I'm kind of hoping with all these YouTubers coming out saying that, you know, they've been reverse boosting to get these great games, Activision may look at this and say, we may need to tweak the uh, skill-based matchmaking just a bit, tune it down game after game now. Not sure if we'll ever get that, but we can, I guess we can always kind of hope. But guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts about, you know, this whole skill-based matchmaking reverse boosting kind of thing that's been going around all over the internet for the last, you know, several days. Like I said, I really don't mind what people want to do with their channel. They can do what they do. It don't really hurt my feelings at all. I don't really, it doesn't really affect me at all. You know, I'm just glad that, you know, people are enjoying watching Call of Duty content kind of at the end of the day. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And be sure, like I said, to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate GT Racing. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.